Today we are at the Galaxy S2 launch announcement for the U.S. market. AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint announced that they are carrying the Galaxy S2. You look at the design, look at the speed, and the content and services we're providing with this phone. It really truly sets the benchmark for what I believe a smartphone can be in the marketplace. Uh, the device is different in a number of different ways. Uh, first off is a chipset. We're using a Samsung uh, Exynos uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz chipset in this platform which is absolutely a screamer. Galaxy S2 has a beautiful Super AMOLED Plus display. It makes your images, your movies just pop out of the screen really vividly. Samsung has always made the best cameras on mobile phones. And it's not just how many megapixels, we have the most megapixels, eight megapixels, but it's really about the software and the user experience. We've basically taken a lot of technologies from other parts of our uh, Samsung consumer electronics business and built that capability into what we're doing with our cameras. The multimedia aspect of it isn't just limited to the phone. I really do like that you can output via HDMI to a TV. That's really important for people who like to share videos and music. We can record at the highest bit rate of 1080p HD video, we actually meet the threshold for Blu-ray quality video. I really like the fact that you can both edit and shoot uh, on the phone. The ability to, to shoot the video and then edit out the parts that you don't want the beginning or the end or just get the cool bit in the middle, like when your kid hits the home run or they make a really spectacular dive, like that's pretty awesome. This is the voice control engine. I just say, hi Galaxy, and it'll ask me what I want to do. I can play music, I can navigate to a map, I can send a message. It'll even dictate my messages back to me. It's just an amazing way to interact with a phone that's really, nobody's done it this well before. Nobody is building a better enterprise phone on Android than Samsung. This has the best exchange active sync. It has data encryption. Enterprise, if they want to manage the features on the device, they can shut it off. You can VPN. You can even do a WebEx conference. Simultaneous voice and data. You're on a conference call and you're looking at PowerPoints that are being shared off of somebody else's desktop right on the phone. Nobody else is doing this kind of stuff. You go to the Android Marketplace, you'll see that those apps are all made exclusively for Samsung.